Dr. Richard Pullen is here, Texas Tech. Now, before we go any further, I'm so glad to see you. I haven't seen you here at News Channel 10. I mean, it's been several years. The, the last time I was here was uh, four years ago, 2018, okay. when we were kicking off the Panhandle Great 25. Right, and, and time has flown. Uh, we've had a pandemic, but first of all, you, you are the guy who says, hey, nurses, come to class. Let me teach you, let yes. me help you. Tell us a little bit about what you do uh, at Texas Tech School of Nursing. I'm a full professor and uh, the RN to BSN uh, program uh, director, and it's a great place to be. And I've been there for seven years, and then immediately uh, prior to Texas Tech, I, I spent 22 wonderful uh, years at Amarillo College uh, Nursing. Beautiful, and, and have been here uh, in the Panhandle. I feel like the Panhandle Great 25 Nurses, you're a co chair, I, yes. I say of that, but also Dr. Valerie Kuyper. Yes. And you two uh, have known each other. This is what I love, the story between yeah. you and her. The collaboration making this happen has been really fun, but so important, I think. Yes. Uh, we, uh, Dr. Kuyper, who is the uh, founder and co-chair of the Panhandle Great 25, and I'm co-chair and uh, co- uh, founding member sure. uh, of the Panhandle Great 25 Nurses. We have known each other for a long time. And Dr. Kuyper came to me, uh, I think back in 2014 with this idea. She had uh, attended what was called the DFW Great 100 Nurses oh. Celebration. And uh, she said, what if we did something al along the same lines, but maybe on a smaller scale? So uh, from that point, Dr. Kuyper, uh, uh, assembled uh, several leaders in the in the panhandle and uh, we came up with the great 25 so what we do Allie as you know as our <laughs> wonderful uh, MC so just nice. last uh, Thursday, Thursday yeah. yes absolutely at Embassy Suites uh, we celebrate 25 registered nurses in the Texas panhandle every year for their compassionate caregiving leadership and service to to the community, and uh, that's that's quite an honor for it, the nurses. It and is. Nursing has become more complicated. I've been a nurse for 45 years, and uh, more complicated now. Patients are more sick. Nurses have to have a higher degree of knowledge of medicine, sure. medications, disease processes, and uh, we we frame all that. All, all of our care around what we call the nursing process. And of course, what we're about is uh, caring and, and compassion for people in need. Now, not only do we uh, celebrate 25 registered nurses through the wonderful uh, donations of our sponsors, mm -hmm. we are able to, during this celebration, uh, award uh, scholarships to nursing students this is unbelievable, yeah, the money, the money yeah. that you give. I mean, uh, that your sponsors and people, but please, and I didn't mean to interrupt you, That's but I mean, okay. $2,000. That is so wonderful. Uh, so our goal with the Great 25 is to celebrate the nurses, what we have, the great work, but also to advance the profession with those scholarships. So we are able to award 12 $2,000 scholarships wow. and then one $2,500 uh, scholarship during the, the ceremony. And one more thing that we do, two more things actually, is we have another recognition of what we call uh, the Legacy Award. Beautiful. And the Legacy Award uh, is uh, awarded to a nursing leader who has engaged in substantial uh, service uh, to the Texas Panhandle sure. uh, that uh, is enduring. And uh, this year it went to Dr. Uh, Michael Evans, and who started in the Texas Panhandle. He is now the Dean of Nursing at Texas Tech. Oh my goodness, so that it is was so great. big. Yeah, and then one more thing was the uh, Texas Nurses Association District 2 Hall of Fame award went to Sue Rankin. So it's, it's a night of celebrating 
uh, nurses and the wonderful profession of nursing. Look, looking back, um, 25 and then 25 and then 25, I mean, I love that we have award-winning nurses and to do that, there is a nomination yes. process that I want uh, people to be, if your nurse uh, was not awarded, there's still time. This is going to continue in the scholarship opportunities, but when will that kind of open? For, for people to nominate. I'm glad that you mentioned. Uh, we recognize, honor the great 25 through a nomination process. And uh, there's criteria in the nomination process for next year will open up this summer. Oh, okay. So okay. we do have, I, I would encourage your listeners to, uh, it's great25.com. Okay, uh, okay. It, the information will be on there and then uh, the nomination form is on there, and then we have a, uh, a selection committee that uh, blindly reviews all the nominations, so Whoa. we don't know who it is. Sure. And this year we had 56 nominations, and uh, the top 25 with the highest numbers, Sure. then we show their names, and then we, we notify them. So it, it, it's a blind process, so we don't know who it is, and and this year, uh, this year we had uh, uh, nurses that represented uh, many specialty areas, from school nursing to mental health, to education, to the neonatal ICU, pediatrics. Oh my goodness! So it was wonderful. Well, what I love, uh, what I want to tell folks, we have people. Uh, nurses, maybe Hansford County, Sherman County, yes. Potter County, they're all over the Texas Panhandle and I love that and I, yes. and I just have to ask you, tell us what our rural nurses, how is that? We need them, don't we? we we're in uh, desperate need always because I feel like our rural towns need help and so I hope that many will, will keep continue and I know that's important to y'all. I believe this time we had, of the 20, the great 25, I think five were from rural areas of the Texas Panhandle. Oh, good. And of course we need nurses, men and women, to enter the profession in all specialty areas everywhere. But as you mentioned, there is a, a special need, particularly in the rural areas. In the rural areas, there's 26 counties of the Texas Panhandles. Texas Panhandle and we have 14 hospitals and there's various clinics too. So we do do need more nurses in those areas uh, particularly because we have a more vulnerable uh, sure. population, older adults that need uh, more care and uh, some other issues in which we need nurses sure. to, to be in that specialty area. Well, I'm so proud that the Panhandle Great 25 Nurses uh, Celebration, look for that this summer nominating. I hope that you'll come back and oh, I hope that yeah. we can get uh, Dr. Valerie Copper to come with you oh, and, and let's tell them about the nomination process and keep information. I, I want you to know from the bottom of News Channel 10's heart, we are so proud of the work that, that nurses do. And I know that it has been unbelievable times for for nurses and I just want you to know that really we're, we're so proud of you and people say superheroes and unbelievable but really it's true well, so please you know very that. kind and I think the pandemic has um, brought nursing to the to the forefront nurses have always been respected uh, however I think the pandemic has illuminated the scope, the depth and breadth of what we need to know and in, in that it's not just about caring and compassion, though that's what we're about, our foundation. Sure. You have to have a high, uh, a high level of critical thinking to put right. all of that together to take care of those complicated patient situations. Well, I'm proud. I'm thank proud you. and thank you for letting me be a part of it. Uh, thank you for coming, News Channel 10. Oh, I thank you for inviting me. Well, you're welcome. And we're going we're gonna to see you hopefully this summer. Absolutely. Alrighty. Yeah. Dr. Thank Richard you. Pullen, yeah. thank you so much. Yes, such thank a, you. Such a, a joy. Thank, thank you. thank you for being our wonderful MC. Well, you're so nice. <laughs> Listen, I, I love y'all. Uh, stick around. Uh, we got a little dog walking forecast.